I'm going to leave this analogy alone. Because they're coming in. And another great headshot, Heroic. Put it onto the one-on-one. -on -one. Bit, though, with that AK, can actually close. Finish. Oh. What he started! It's a quad out a bit. They needed him to step up, but he was absent on map one. Now he makes his intent known. Great immediate taste of their own medicine. But Heroic are going to buy back in here because of only one player survived. Right. And this is where Heroic may end up losing the game. I mentioned Ooh. it last time when they went for the force buy again. They're doing it once more. This time they have three M4s in play. But Na'Vi with only one player staying alive a bit. You can see right now they have to work with two MAC-10s, a Galil. Overthink it. Or if they remember that there's this really easy site to take. Mosia pushing outside. I like this change. Aggressive start. I just heard Na'Vi shout though across the room. They know it's going on and Bit will deal with him. Mosia couldn't make up his mind. He sent it to blue and then he walked back. Bit ready every step of the way. Five on four. I think there's going to be more aggro as well. Got a, a very pushed up ramp player. Electronic getting ready to drop mini. And they're going to again go back to this top site with the same results. Wow. It's a highlight reel from Bit. So that's what, in my eyes, that's oh, what a gazebo wait. is, right? Well, do gazebos have walls? Hang on. Uh, oh, uh, this oh. is Bit, a gazebo. Bit, he might have walls, man. Look at this guy. Go! Oh, oh. Third headshot. Another 3K. Oh, back for more, baby. And he's going to just end it like that. Eight to one. Bit. Why? I hate that we actually bought up bugs in sheds because I just remember. Safe behind the flame. They might not check it. Free frag onto simple. They'll clear it now. Needs a second. OC sprays down two. Should be the round. The smoke is on that bomb or not. Oh, it's oh, oh. with a bang up. Cheeky on it. How does he rescue Na'Vi there? Oh, no. <laughs> Bailed out big time. Naf expecting him to go around the right side of the pillar. Around there, Liquid. You know, you're testing the Na'Vi defense, and it comes down to this. Watch this from Bit. Bang. <laughs> Just enough time on the clock. Naf's going to be punching himself. The signature style there from Bit as well. Just another headshot throw that. Three S attacks in Pit, and this time Rez not going to miss that first shot. Will still get cleared. Bit's got a chance to redeem this poor half, and he's got the cover to plant that bomb. S attack closing the gap. Galil's back out. Headshot, and then the little bit of damage left into the AWP. But being given time as Alexi has to silently encroach into this bomb site. We can talk about how poor it's looked from Bit. But if he can clutch out this round, then he extends the hopes of Na'Vi here on Inferno. And Bit with 58 points of health, now pressured by Alexi. Oh, but he lands it. Up to the chest to keep this going. That's Na'Vi double digits. Yeah, that's nicely done from Bit. That's three kills. He's really recovering that score line now. It's still not. Objective, that's the info on the jiggle. Bit activates, a good shot, and a second for good measure. Never mind the third bit. Evaporates the attack on short side, brings them with that aggression. Yeah, beautiful stuff there. Na'Vi, they're Inferno CT side. Now it's Bit's turn, and we know this guy loves to hit the heads here. No exception. Oh, and the last bullet for good measure. Three down, straight to Perfecto. Peeking up on the boost. Early casualty for Na'Vi to stomach, and they are set up aggressive in the apartments, needs the double. Oh, oh but the triple <laughs> is cruel, is mean. Uh Just that premonition, he knew, where would I be most vulnerable next? And right there. Just suppressed by one. Simple does impress for one, but it's still one on two. Oh! 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 That is so crazy! <laughs> he doesn't let go of the trigger! That's fucking insane. From one side of the screen to the other! But uh, he's a player, he doesn't get any. Uh, yeah. Only for us, no red or yellow cards here. <laughs> <laughs> but if they didn't win and this round... a headshot angle as well. Yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> I don't think Karagin can quite believe it either. Yeah, <laughs> right. It was just his in mid. Now, there is this main push from Bit, who is one of the other struggling voices within Na'Vi. He needs to offer up a multi-kill. That's oh, the bomb. No! And Bit swings and smites them down with three from bottom of the board. He's hit a home run here for Na'Vi. Peak sees a gap, takes it, shuts down one man. Oh. But he's finished off. The wall bang will silence him. And it's up to Tick Bit tock. now in the palace. Ten seconds on the clock. you got to pump that bomb. The molly goes out, but Bit dives in. He's oh. playing with him. But he cleans it up. He just hunts down that AWP instantly. Good save after Simple's double up towards triple. He he you know walked a little wide and got spotted by the orb. So that's how that wallbang came through.
First kills his, second in for simple. Now it's Bit's chance. He needs a double. He gets that first on Halzerk, runs away. Fang looking for his third on the round just to get to OT. He's on top of the bomb, sticking it, but Bit doesn't give a damn. Round 30, and Navi will survive this test. Multiple instances that complain. Leg shots coming out, that'll slow them down. We're at 18 seconds for the oh. round, and Hampus finally summons working out here for NIP, but they need more. The crossfire is dead on perfect. It's Bit with another multi-kill. This time they weren't headshots, but we'll take the triple anyway and put Navi for NIP. But that, this crossfire, it, it's one of the strongest out there. Tucked in at truck, tucked in at long, both of the- oh but they're still in with a fighting chance. The bomb's been grabbed. Rotation's there, they're pushing up towards the site. Cold, does he have eyes in the back of his head? Oh, leaves the electronic dead and it's all down a bit. Bomb's planted, Cold, covering for the cross. Molotov dashed out to make it so much more awkward. Tags him down to five. He can only hold on this edge. He can't oh. push over and Bit spams him on the cross. Damn, you feel for Cold after that one. Three kills, again beating Simple in the head-to-head. -head. All the glory, but not enough to win the round. Na'Vi stay above water in a very difficult round where they had no util. That was a complicated round for Na'Vi to win and they're going to have a sigh of relief and probably a high five wins the key fight that keeps Falcons in control. Still a bit on the lurk though, that's the headshot and the bomb will now come back to A. Or will it? 30 seconds, they're actually gonna send it all the way back because Simple's sneaking into B. When he's calling that it is absolutely clear, bring the bomb to B right now and they are making their way there as fast as they possibly can. And every second that ticks forward, Simple is getting deeper and deeper behind enemy lines here. Masuta can catch Bit, but Bit is quick and again hits the headshot. Kenny has his turn, but Bit with another headshot, absolutely no issues for him in middle. And Takes down the AWP. We need to get him to the site though, Bit with only one, it doesn't seem like there's any hope. Any chance, a good frag. But just playing the clock, it's Chiron to close. A good headshot. Holding my breath for this one. Bit secure seven. That's a half they can work with. Navi want to close in two. Outsiders, as always, trying to take us the distance. Navi have picked the battleground. Can Cloud9 respond? Playing Arch. Naffany clean on the first one, knows they're coming for him. The bomb gets dropped for a second. Efficient trading, now simply kill Axile. Oh. Seems easier said than done. He gets spotted. Now they know. He stops that bomb and pushes Bit into the clutch. Picks it back up, plants before the second CT can get into position. That's Shiro sprinting up mid. And Bit's gonna lay down a smoke. Creates a bit of ambiguity as to where he can get off to. It's a low smoke. Yeah, he's gonna play inside of it. He's gonna try to inch his way to the left side, down beneath them! What? Oh, of course! You just got hit by the bit! And Navi, that's a 12-round T-side! You would, you would have loved some CT presence here. Navi are holding for it, but they know now. eventually now they learn, right? Everyone's coming oh. from this side of the map. Bit's done a lot with the AK, really softening up Alexi. Oh. And now he's just going to finish the job. Alexi B, oh, not quite dead on the swing. Bit gives him a couple of chances there here, only to take it all the way right at closing time. Three kills in the round from Bit on that gun. And Navi... Up onto 13, they win it out with a low buy. That was four in a row for Nip, pulling a bit of comeback, shutting down clutches, sure close, and pulling out some of their own. And now Na'Vi just flipped the script with a force buy. Dude, something I've, I've really loved about watching MPL, like both back at the RMRs, but even here, is he, I think like, you know, I think one of the problems for, for him, obviously you're coming into like a team of legends of the game, and he knows he's like the guy under the microscope.